Bonjour everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Louisa. You are watching Lulu Selavi. And I'm laughing because it's been a while since I said those sentences. I kind of missed it a little bit. I want to apologize for not posting any videos in about a month or so, even even more. Time flies when you have fun. I was taking a break, a needed break uh, this summer. And usually I tell you guys, hey, I'm going to take a break. But this time, I didn't realize I needed a break. <laughs> and I remember trying to post a video before my vacation in Florida. And I was so overwhelmed that I was like, fuck it, I'm not going to post it. And then the weeks just went by and I was not posting. And I was like, you know what? I just need a break. The thing is, I never told you guys, hey, I'm taking a break. So I apologize for that. Thank you for hanging in there. If you're watching this video, if you're back today, thank you so much. Um, this video is not my usual content but it's my birthday and i kind of splurge on some luxury items this year which i do once every 10 years uh so it's a big deal for me and uh, this year i have some absolutely gorgeous gorgeous stuff to show you so i hope you will enjoy this video before i get into the middle of this video don't forget to like this video if you enjoy the content don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and share with a friend all this will help to boost my video in the algorithm and trust me after over a month of not getting on and of not posting on youtube i definitely need the support all right, my loves, with no further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so the first item I'm going to talk about is what's more than an item. It's also my whole experience at the Louis Vuitton store. It was amazing. I went there uh, earlier this week and on my birthday, actually, and I was amazed by how I was received and how the whole experience happened. Uh, so to let you know a little bit how it went. Before I even tried to enter the building, somebody opened the door for me. They asked me for my name and if I was there for something specific. So I told them, my name is Louisa and I'm here because, well, it's my birthday and I just want to shop around. They wished me happy birthday and they told me to proceed and have a look in the store and in about five minutes, a salesperson is going to come and help me out. So I browse around, I look at their uh, shoe collection, their clothing collection, a bit of their bags. I reached to their accessory area and I found kind of what I was looking for a little bit. <laughs> so backstory a little bit, after my mom passed, I got all of her luxury items. One of them being this beautiful Louis Vuitton uh, scarf, I think that's what you, shawl maybe? It's uh, wool and silk, it's very warm and um, and I like to wear it in the winter. The only thing is that black is not really part of my wardrobe like that. So I don't get to wear it a lot and I've always wanted to get exactly the same thing but in a different color so when I reached the store the other day I saw that they had two of them in two colors that is exactly the colors that I wear in my wardrobe one was a military green and the other one was a soft pink so now I was not able to film the store because I don't know I wasn't just not comfortable entering a luxury store and be like oh can I film for my vlog it just it didn't feel right so I didn't do it um, but anyways I got to the accessory area and um, and then I was looking at the scars and the color and I was like which one should I go for I was really I couldn't make up my mind and certainly I hear somebody say hi Louisa happy birthday <laughs> they don't know I was like who who knows me who knows that it's my birthday and it was the salesperson who was gonna take care of me for the rest of my shopping experience his name is Gary and he was absolutely awesome uh, I told Gary that I was uh, interested in those scars and I did not know what color to choose so he took both colors with him and we just continued walking through the store. Now, another item that really got my attention was a handbag. I'll put a picture right here because it's the only real picture I was able to get. And this handbag was just amazing. I was able to put it on. I think it's called the Valisette Soft soft leather or something. I'll, I'll put the name right here. But uh, I tried it on and I just love it. It's really my style. It's a little casual chic. If I was to define my style, we'll call it casual chic. So it's really me. I love it. Uh, the thing is, it was about, no, it was a little bit more expensive than the Gucci bag that I bought for my birthday about a month and a half prior. So I was like, I don't see myself spending more money on a designer bag. 
And another thing is, when you have a lot of one thing, you don't really appreciate it anymore. I really wanted to appreciate that one designer bag that I bought for myself, you know? So I felt like if I was to buy a Gucci bag and Vuitton bag and this and that, I would not appreciate that actual bag. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense to you? Let me know in the comment section. Anyways, I um, finally made up my mind on what color and I decided to go with the khaki color. Uh, no, khaki is the French name for that green, uh, vert khaki. In America, it will be military green, right? In French, it's called vert khaki. Vert is green and khaki, voilà. But you, for you, khaki is a different color. It's like a, a beige tone, so anyways. I am absolutely in love with this color. This is a color that I have in my wardrobe all the time. It's a color that comes up over and over again. I was debating between this one and a soft pink because I like to use a soft pink as an accent, as a, a color that pops in my, in my outfit, you know, but then it was a nice soft pink, but it was a little too soft. <laughs> you know, I like a blush soft pink, something a little bit like what you see behind. Um, so I went for the green and I can't wait to accessorize it. Now this material is super soft and super silky because it has 60% silk and 40% wool. So it has that silky look, first of all, like you can see how it shines and now I love how the the Louis Vuitton logo shines through um, and it is very warm because of the wool part of it it really keeps you warm in the winter time so it's definitely an item that I'm gonna wear into fall and winter and then voila so that's that for my first item so, so that was my first experience in Soho in the luxury store all right and then I went to Dior where I saw this beautiful, beautiful shawl. It was so, the print was everything. I'll see if I can find it online. Uh, it's it's the newest collection and uh, I'm not a Dior girl, to be honest. I don't really like Christian Dior. It's not my style like that. But this shawl was so pretty. But I just bought this one and this one was half the price of the Dior. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. Maybe I'll get it if I found it in second hand, but it's just not, the price was just not worth the, the, the product, you know? Um, and then I went to Chloe. I looked at their last collection. It was pretty nice, very ethnic I found, uh, but I didn't see anything that really I liked. And then I went, I went to Yves Saint Laurent and I had the worst, you guys, I had the worst experience there. Seriously, excuse me as I'm doing another, Virgin Morito, normal Morito. Ça s'appelle comment? Mimosa, a Virgin Mimosa, which consists in orange juice and sparkling water. Okay, so um, I get to Yves Saint Laurent. First of all, I enter the shop and I am being profiled by or scanned, what I call scanned really, by one of the salesperson where they look at me from the top to the bottom, back to the top. What is she wearing? What do you think she's doing in the store? <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, you're a salesperson for Yves Saint Laurent. Like, calm down, it's okay, you know. Um, anyways, I take a look at what they have. Um, I definitely would like to add a Yves Saint Laurent bag into my collection but after the experience i had in their store uh i don't want to give them my money you know although i have to say last year when i was about to buy a, my designer bag i went to the yves saint laurent store on fifth avenue and they were a lot nicer so maybe i'll go to that sh that location and see how they treat people but if i have to go somewhere to buy a expensive designer bag I want to be treated like I was treated in Louis Vuitton I want to be treated like royalty as I should don't you agree you know like come on so anyways I take a look at a bag that I've never seen before again I didn't take a picture because oh, I just didn't want to be that person and especially after being 
scan like I was scared. I was like, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. But it was like a velvet brown. I'll put a picture. If I can find it, I'll put a picture of it. But it was absolutely gorgeous. Definitely my style. Um, and as I'm looking at it, the sales girl goes, I, I was carrying my Portland leather good tote bag, which if you guys know me, I probably did a video on it already. I absolutely adore this brand. They have an exquisite workmanship. The quality of the leather is really good. The bags are, are very rough and like they can take, they can take a beat, you know, and I really like that. Um, now with the work that I do, I, had, I need to have a bag that can take my high heels, my uh, change of outfits, my bottle of water, my book, my this, my that, and those bags are doing the job and they look, they look clean, they look good, they look like they can hold their shape with no problem. This woman compares my Portland leather good to her designer bags and she goes, well, you know, that's definitely an upgrade from uh, what you have. <laughs> and I'm like, you can't compare my tote bag to Yves Saint Laurent, like who does that, you know? Like, I was like, oh no, you can't compare that. In my head, I'm like, I am not, I am not spending my money here. I'm not paying your rent, I'm sorry. I just can't do that, you know? So I left the store. I was not gonna buy the bag anyway, because like I said earlier, I just wanna enjoy what I already bought and, um, and then financially, I don't, I just didn't want to spend the money. It's not that I can't afford, it's that I, I don't, I'm not comfortable with spending so much money. So voila, that's already, I already did a lot. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm able to justify my, my spending right now. But more than that, I wouldn't be able to justify and, and have a good and feel good about myself, you know. So anyway, I left Soho with a, bittersweet taste in my mouth like it was like you know those commercial for those candies where it started sweet and then you get a slap in your face it gets bitter yeah it was pretty much that like I started well with Louis Vuitton and then I got a big fat slap in my face at the Yves Saint Laurent um, but yeah that was that for this experience um, now I'm gonna move on to the next side okay the next one is going to be all about Gucci <laughs> Okay, so I went to Gucci and I just went for it. Um, where do I start? It all happened on Nigel's birthday. Believe it or not, I treated myself for my birthday on my husband's birthday. I know there's so many things that are wrong about this, but it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> we, Nigel wanted to go to a mall that he likes for his birthday it's called the american dream i don't know if you guys ever heard about it but it's a pretty impressive mall um apparently it took like 15 years to build it or some craziness um they have so many activities you can do in there from um snowboarding to wave pool to a nickelodeon water park like there's everything you can think of in this mall there's also, uh, well, of course, there's a lot of stores there. You can pretty much shop every brand. But there's also a luxury section that is kind of far. Like, I had to walk for a solid like five to six minutes to get there. Um, and I found the luxury part to be pretty empty. I think they still have work to do to get those brands in, in the mall. But there was a Hermes store, which is pretty impressive and there was a Saks Fifth Avenue in which there was a uh, Gucci and Louis Vuitton shop and so I went into the Gucci store and that's where I saw the bag that I got okay now I want to show you the unboxing of the bag all right first of all can we appreciate how pretty the box is I love this green color and the print and how sweet of my salesperson to um, leave me a little birthday card in there. Thank you so much, Tania. Of course, we get the dust bag. And finally, let me introduce you to my 1955 house bit Gucci bag in the local print and the brown leather, baby. 
look at how pretty she is i am loving how timeless and how classic the lines of this bag is it is a re-edition from the original 1955 house bit i love that i can adjust the strap to make it either a shorter bag that would sit right under my armpit or a crossbody um, i love the versatility and i also like the size of the bag uh, i love that it can fit a lot of my stuff like my keys my headphones my wallet a little bottle of water my hand sanitizer um you know i'm just tired of the small itsy bitsy bags i don't know about you guys but i'm really over it <laughs> so yeah that's that for um this beautiful bag So I saw this bag for the first time on Karen. Um, she's like a very well-known influencer, the Brit chick. And I saw this bag on her, I think it was last winter in one of her YouTube videos. I'm not really a Gucci girl, but uh, you know, it's like, that would be the one Gucci bag I would buy. And when I went to the store, I was able to try it on and I was like, wow, this is a type of bag that I would carry with me all the time. It is big enough to get all my stuff in. I can have it crossbody, I can have it side. Um, I can wear it to the side under the shoulder. I like the versatility of it. I like the simplicity of it. I like how timeless it looks. I like this bag look like it, it could have been done 50 years ago or in 20 years from now. I just fell in love with it. Um, but at that moment, I was not really mentally prepared to buy the bag <laughs> you know i just i was like let me just look at what they have and if they have something then i i can try it on and then i'll think about it but then you know how it goes you get in the store you try it on and you're like shit i want this i want this this is it this is the one i want so then i called nigel and i was like hey babe i'm a gucci i'm trying bags on and i'm falling in love with one of them i'm not sure if i should go for it and that's when he says <laughs> babe get the bag <laughs> he's like it's been a year of you watching looking at designer bag and stuff you don't spend money on things you don't you know you don't you barely ever splurge on on stuff for your for yourself so go for it get the bag when your husband tells you that let me tell you that credit card was out faster than my shadow okay <laughs> No, that's not true. I'm totally lying to you. After that, I had to call one of my closest friends, Christelle. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what do I do? And of course, Christelle is the last person to call when you want to buy something because she'll push you to get it. And she's like, why are you calling me? You know I'm going to tell you to buy the bag. <laughs> so anyways, um, after spending a solid, you know what? I didn't even do that. I left the bag. I went in sacks and I just, you know, just to cool down because my body was like heated you know i was like let me just let me just walk around see if there's anything else i like i went to louis vuitton i went to that yves saint laurent there was not a one salesperson yeah yves saint laurent their store they're weird oh, i don't know it's kind of anyways um and then i came back to gucci and i'm like i'm just gonna get the bag and while i was at it i took a look at their belts <laughs> and that's when I saw this belt. The sales girl was like, I have exactly the belt you, you're gonna want. Like, just trust me. And she went and got this belt. And I was like, how do you know me so well? Like, at what point did you get that? <laughs> the belt is reversible with one side brown leather and the other side with the Gucci logo, the double G Gucci logo. And so it makes it super versatile. So originally I was gonna keep the gift for my birthday the goal was to keep them in the box and just wait for my birthday to open the gift um and before i went to florida i wanted to wear the belt now the bell usually has a little uh leather hoop in which you would put um you would sliding the the, the, the i don't know you're sliding the belt when you put it around um, and that little leather hoop is not attached to the belt. It's kind of loose. So if you were, if you hold the belt from, let's say, the double G, 
it could slide off um, the belt. And the way I hang my belt was on the hanger loop. I put the double G in the hanger so that the belt stayed straight. What I didn't realize is that little leather hoop fell off. I didn't realize it until I had to go through customs at the airport and I had to take the belt off and then put it back on. And I, I realized that this part, like I couldn't put my belt inside of the little leather hoop and I look everywhere on the floor thinking that it fell on the floor, but then I text my girlfriend and ask her to take a look in the bedroom where I was sleeping to see if she found it. And thank goodness she did find it. <laughs> so she's traveling and she's gonna, when she comes back from her travel, she'll send it to me. So it's not lost, thank God. Um, I will have it, but now I know, and just so you know, if you're buying a Gucci belt, those little, um, those little hoop can fall off easily. So just make sure you keep an eye on them. So now why did I keep the bag in the box for so long? Because I wanted to savor is that English? Savouré. I wanted to savor the whole experience. Uh, I wanted it to be special. I didn't want to go home on my husband's birthday and unbox a bag as if it was my birthday. And, you know, I wanted to keep it for the D-Day and just enjoy that moment. And, and I wanted the box to stay there for a full month and a half actually for the following month it kind of bring me joy to see this gucci box uh with a bow waiting for me you know and for me it's like instead of going in the high 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 uh of joy joy and then you open the box and you wear your bag once and then you and then nothing i kind of like sustain that joy for like a month and a half and then I get another high on the on my birthday when I finally get to unbox. And I don't know, to me it's very it's worth it, especially when you spend so much money on a gift. Like you wanna make it last. You don't want to just go home and open the box and that's it. You wanna kind of make it last a little bit longer. Now I'm not sure that I would wear the belt on the logo side at the same time as I would wear the bag. I think it's too much. It's too much of the logo, you know, the print, the logo print. Um, if I wear the bag and the belt at the same time, I would put the belt on the brown side because it's the same brown as the bag anyways. So voila, that's that for my Gucci experience. Between the Louis Vuitton and the Gucci experience, I want to say that Louis Vuitton won definitely had a better experience at the Soho store. Now, the salesperson at Gucci uh, at Saks Fifth Avenue, she was so sweet. She was a sweetheart. Um, but nothing compared to how Louis Vuitton set up uh, their, their whole experience for you. Um, also, I was at the Louis Vuitton store where Gucci, I was at Saks Fifth Avenue. So, it's a different location. If I was at the Gucci store, maybe I would have a different experience. Now, the last item that I want to show you guys is my new pollen bag. That's another bag that I bought, but this time on bag. I don't know if on bag, <laughs> online. <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with the brand pollen. It's a French uh, bag designer that uh, I've seen a lot in social media lately. Actually, my girlfriend Christelle kind of uh, put me onto this brand. And uh, for the past, I want to see, I think she showed me this brand about a year ago when, when I started to look into designer bags for my birthday last year. She was like, check out Pollen, I am in love with them. And I was like, oh my gosh, the line of those bags. <laughs> They're pretty cool. So for my birthday this year, I decided, and the price point is a lot smaller, like for, I think I spent $260 for the bag that I'm about to show you. Hi, my love, sorry to interrupt to interrupt the video. I'm editing right now and I'm realizing that I am contradicting myself a little bit. Uh, when I said earlier, I didn't want to buy many uh, handbags because I wanted to appreciate that one Gucci bag that I bought. As far as I'm concerned, I don't consider Pollen to be a 
high-end luxury bag it is definitely a high-end premium quality bag by that i mean that the quality of the leather is exquisite the line of the bag the workmanship is absolutely amazing and it could maybe potentially one day compete with the chanel vuitton gucci dior of uh, the luxury world but right now that's not where we are we are at a lower price point also um the retail experience was completely different as i shopped for this online and i didn't experience the store experience i did get that store experience therefore in my book um i don't see uh, my pull and bag overshadowing my gucci bag i very much app still appreciate um having my gucci bag and the pull and bag is just a little add-on you know hope that makes sense to you okay let's get back to the video so for the price point you get an amazing quality and the design of the bag is really nice seriously i haven't seen any designer coming with coming up with that type of design and i am absolutely in love they also have a basket bag that is i'm not a basket bag type of girl um but this one is really nice it's so pretty so yeah i'm gonna show you right now the unboxing of my pollen bag love this is it for this um, luxury birthday shopping unboxing <laughs> and shopping experience i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section your thoughts um and then voila we'll see you guys next week with a new video until then my love stay happy stay healthy have a beautiful life au revoir et à bientôt <laughs> hey c'est la vie <laughs>